I named my son Dante after the author because what Dante does is he, uh, through literature, he tells you a story and he explains how God ultimately is at the center of it all. If you're somebody who's captured by God's love, he will transform you into, um, into a, a loving uh, Christ-like figure. And uh, that's the most powerful thing in the world, I, I, yeah. I'm Scott Harrower. I'll be teaching the doctrine of the Trinity and the person and work of Christ. I was uh, working in a hospital in, in South America and one time we had to catch a bus uh, from one province to another and the bus stopped at a shrine uh, for a local folk god who was a dead cowboy. And people think that where he's buried or other sites that have been dedicated to him, if you go and you make a request of him, because he is a good man, because he has good virtues and qualities, he will give them to you. Uh, but when I asked people how could it be that this guy, Gaucho Gil, could be active in their lives and bring about health or protection from evil, nobody could explain how that could be um, or what that meant. That's very different to the Christian view because if you claim that Jesus is alive as God and is God, then he can bring about all sorts of changes in your life today, which are consistent with what you see in the New Testament. I was working overseas um, in a hospital and I got to know um, a Christian and I had been a Christian and had been growing as a Christian and he said to me, oh, um, have a look at an Anglican prayer book, funnily enough, and read through the articles of religion. I'd never done this before even though I was an Anglican and I remember reading that Anglicans believe that Jesus was a risen Lord and that he was active in the world today and that really struck me because I think I had an idea of Jesus as being in the past and being a really good man and that God was related to Jesus somehow and Jesus had sort of fixed our relationship with God but I, I didn't uh, believe and I hadn't really taken on the fact that he reigns as a king and that he's powerful now and that he's active now. So you need the Trinity to explain how God has worked and is working but sometimes to get there it's hard and I guess I was really driven to kind of unpack it. Do you know what I mean? And I think that's a big thing to know that you're actually praying to someone real um, someone who helps you pray and then if that's in place and that's right then it will help you and transform you to love those around you so I think that's why I studied theology because I was really interested in clarity because it is a chaotic confusing world and there are many options out there and I'm not saying you fall back into Christianity out of fear but I think you go forward in the light of history so studying the doctrine of the Trinity um, helps us get that foundation in place first